you know, we have to understand how the corporate world and the fossil fuel industry is really increasingly taking over, using its mega profits. I mean, it's the most profitable industry in history, making record profits even now. And they're using these profits to essentially stage a corporate buyout of governmental functions. Um, and we see this increasingly in terms of how police behave to serve the fossil fuel industry and try to silence and even kill indigenous protesters in Canada and around the world. The RCMP to me is might be the world's leading, you know, colonial repressive law enforcement agency in the world um, in terms of how it treats indigenous peoples. And I think we need to understand what we're really facing here. And, you know, when I started out many years ago as a young lawyer trying to do a pollution case, you know, I had no idea in all honesty, the power we were up against and the power that has essentially co-opted the judiciaries in Canada and the United States to a great degree, not completely, there's still space to act, but to a great degree such that it's rigged. It's very hard to get justice in courts. And of course, we see this in British Columbia and other parts of Canada constantly when you know indigenous protesters and their allies get brought up on these ridiculous charges of violating injunctions that essentially pre prevent them from engaging in acts of protest on their own lands. You know, so we're up against a lot. And it's absolutely, I agree with the strategy that I've heard on this call and what Laura just said. It is going to take us, the people, um, grassroots movements to correct this problem or we're not gonna have you know, a habitable planet. So it's all about the people um, putting pressure on governments. There's not a government in the world, in my opinion. And I've been looking at this for many, many years that has the fortitude to stand up to the fossil fuel industry. There's not one government in the world. There's not even a damn plan in the United States or Canada to phase out the fossil fuel industry. I mean, not only is there not a political decision to phase out the industry that's destroying the planet, there's not even a plan, there's not even a commitment to create a plan to do that. So, you know, we have a lot of work to do. And I think the approach I've heard on this call is exactly the right approach. And it's the only approach that holds any hope of success. Thank you. Um, we have 